Well, now that the uh, 19th century sailing is, is gone, we're back to the 21st century, I think I'll make a, a short video about where we are after seven days. Uh, full moon is up here on neither this computer nor my uh, spare laptop. Can I seem to locate him? Uh, we have Eon down here. Tommy's coming up and so is Linus. Um, big jams out there. And it's been a troubling couple of days. The wind is now looking like it, it should do. If I come to, uh, to Windy over here, change over to GFS, you'll notice that uh, the winds are about, about right five knots coming from well, I guess they're not exactly right, but yeah, they're, they're curving up anyway. So coming from the uh, the southwest, and we are possibly 50 nautical miles uh, south of full moon, but because of the anomaly of where the actual uh, race end is in Hong Kong, we are fairly close to him. He's in a much better position than us, as we will see with Windy in a while. Um, during the uh, the stuck wind days, uh, I basically just kept us on a fairly straight path, whereas he probably anticipated going out to the east a little bit more, and he will probably get into the uh, the better weather before us, the better wind. We also had a problem back down near the Gold Coast where if you look on uh, on Pyro, if I zoom in a little bit, you'll notice these, uh, these things here before it zones out. Um, yeah, these ones all down here. If I come in really quickly, you can see them just there. That was uh, an, a helm problem where it was just switching back and forward very, very quickly. Um, we were in front of uh, Full Moon at that stage, but he took well advantage of that and has sailed pretty well since then. Over on the uh, the other side, hopefully these guys will come back in again. Yeah, unfortunately uh, Frank has probably been offline for most of the day and uh, probably wind vane and it's sent him back towards Antarctica. We have a pretty similar with Schnoodle Hyber, uh, Huber, sorry, and um, Black Shark. These guys out here, uh, Zarel and Dingo, Silver and Medusa with Night Swimmer. And I'd like to find Black Burrow if I can. Chaps. Uh, no. They're all going to try and head out into the coral sea a little bit more out towards New Caledonia because when we get to Windy we'll notice that there is a little bit of wind out here and these guys are going to be able to take a bit of advantage of that. This uh, tropical cyclone out here will come over towards Numea and then down towards uh, New, New Zealand but uh, it probably won't affect our race at all. As for us we are mm -hmm. In pretty much a holding pattern here, just trying to uh, get through some of these blue blobs as they appear. It's looking pretty nasty. See, yeah, in a couple of hours' time, we're going to be stuck right in the blue blob. Whereas full moon might just get onto the edge of it, depending on the regionalization. And even when it uh, moves to the north, uh, it doesn't look as bad for him. So. Full Moon is definitely in the lead in this race. As for us, uh, if we don't get out of it, we're going to be uh, doing some tacking on our way up. Hopefully we can get into a little bit of a beam reach here and then up through. As for uh, QTVLM, it's telling us basically to go straight up. Uh, the plan that I had beforehand was to go east of the Solomons here, go through the Solomons here and then through, because this looks like 
uh, one of the better areas to do that. The QTL VLM is, is getting me to go through here. I also tried to look at a route that goes over the uh, top of the Cape of Carpentaria under Papua New Guinea here and then up and around. Uh, but you've got a lot of dodgy, dodgy wind through here. And apparently if we can get up high enough, we can get a little bit of speed up through towards Hong Kong. We'll see if that's the case anyway. Otherwise, uh, yeah, on the, on the master stereo, we, uh, we are in very, very calm seas. I hate that sun bloom. I think it's got worse actually recently. And uh, getting about five knots of speed here, trying to keep our speed as high as possible while going north. This might not be uh, a good thing to do, but time will tell. We have to take a little bit of a chance here. I could, I would rather prefer to get out, out to the east, just like uh, Eon is doing down here in Fifty Shades, and Full Moon is doing the same thing. Uh, up here somewhere uh, Getting out to the east. It does look like the uh, the option but um, I don't want to be stuck in, in Four knots. I'd rather get five knots Not that it's a, a great big deal deal of difference Anyway with that said I uh, I wish you all good luck. I know it's been uh, pretty hard to um, to keep with the race. I feel very uh, very sorry for the guys that have dropped out. I can fully understand why they did. Uh, there have been moments where I have been uh, not very enthusiastic lately about Sail Away. But I'm hoping that things will get better now. Uh, there are still lots of improvements to be made in this game, as I continually say. And uh, I just hope that uh, one day the devs will actually respond to some of our things instead of just leaving them and fixing them. Uh, maybe that's their communication style. But uh, there are issues that I would like to improve with the actual sailing model and the... Uh, and the uh, the water, the wind, everything about this just needs a little bit more of a polish. Anyway, I don't want to be uh, too sour. Uh, we've we've got through the worst of it, and let's um, let's get to Hong Kong. It's going to be a long, long slog, though. Probably another, I imagine, another 20, 25 days, which is just incredible. All right, guys, have a good night. Bye-bye.